Hello people and welcome back to another video and today this will be quite a different video to what I normally do so and this is going to be a art tutorial on how to create a really nice thumbnail for your videos on Photoshop CS6 so if you don't own Photoshop then you can use like Paint.net, GIMP, any of those programs they generally have the same um, functions and features as Photoshop but just in a more like complex and annoying way so but you can also download the new Adobe Creative Cloud I think it's called and you can get a um, trial 30 day trial of Photoshop for free I believe I'm not sure if that's changed or not but anyway episode one of this creating a thumbnail series is going to be on how to create a really nice background to then base your thumbnail upon so first of all you want to go to file new so and then these are the presets in which you want you want to um, have a width on one two eight zero pixels remember it has to be pixels so and then 720 in height and then 300 resolution the resolution is normally 72 I believe but um, 300 pixels per inch makes it a lot nicer and a lot more sharp so and then you just click OK so then as you can see it should either be white or whatever the default color for yours is I've set mine to transparent so that then I can do some artwork for it so the next thing in which you want to do is is that you want to select your colors so you want to click on the color um, like the first one and then you want to select a lighter color so I am going to select my um, blue color in which I like which is there so and then for the second one I'll just copy the same color over to it and then I'll drag it down so that it's a lot darker so you have a lighter color on the top and a darker color at the bottom so the next thing you want to do is, is you want to go to view make sure that snapping is on and make sure that the ruler function is on this will add these bars along the side so what you want to do is, is you want to left click on the top bar and then you want to drag it down and then eventually it should snap in the center like that it snaps in the center you want to let go and as you can see it creates a guideline so and then um, you want to do the same for the other one so as you can see it's created a perfect cross and that is dead on in the center so to get rid of this um, just to hide it it won't actually show up in your final piece but you go to control and then you just press the colon key and then as you can see that will turn them on and off so and then to get rid of them you literally just hover your mouse over them while having this tool selected and you just drag them past the ruler and then they'll be gone so the next thing what you want to do is you want to go to here and you want to select the gradient tool by default it should be the um, paint bucket tool but obviously you want the gradient tool so the next thing you want to do is, is you want to hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then drag downwards from the middle so and as you can see that will create quite a nice gradient effect if it doesn't create a sort of circular effect then you want to make sure that you have the circle um, gradient selected up there so at the top so then the next feature you want to do is you want to go to your google chrome or whatever you want like whatever browser you use and type in something such as japanese sun is quite a nice pattern um, then um, this will be an overlay to then make quite a nice background image so then you want to um, right click on it copy image so then control v and then you paste it in and it will be in a new layer so the next thing in, one you, in which you want to do is you want to um, press control t and then this will bring up the free transform box so you then want to drag that to the side click the tick at the top and then as you can see um, you've now got the Japanese sun or whatever pattern you picked so this will work with any other pattern it doesn't have to be one like this it can literally be anything so the next thing you want to do is, is you want to make sure that you have that layer selected then click here then go to overlay so then as you can see that will um, make the gradient from the other background show through partially then you want to go to opacity and then drag that down to maybe about 20 or so percent so depending on what um, you want it to be like what strength so as you can see that's created quite a nice background pattern so 
there's the um, final image for the moment so if you did enjoy this video then please leave a like down below and please subscribe for more I am going to do in episode 2 how to get really nice fonts and how to make um, really nice 2D fonts and like text on the thumbnail so then it will stand out and it will make it more attractive to the viewer so thanks for watching hope you have a good rest of your day and I shall see you all later bye